now that you know about REST, REST services and their security implications, let's see a real world example um, related to vulnerabilities of REST web services. This vulnerability was recently reported on WordPress 4.0 and also existed on 4.7.1. It allowed to um, modify any content on WordPress websites and it was a critical vulnerability and uh, it was fixed later. You can find the exploit of this vulnerability in course materials for this chapter or the ExploitDB's website. Um, it's from the uh, University of Tartu. Two uh, issues in WordPress resulted in this vulnerability and uh, using a certain post ID as you can see in the PDF you can modify any post. The first problem is that uh, if we add uh, in the URL uh, if, if you want to modify the uh, post with an ID of 1234 and send this URL to it and in our query uh, we use the same ID but uh, change it to something else uh, the, the thing that server receives is the second one, so the ser server will ignore the first one. But if we, uh, 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 the, but uh, the problem is that the second one is not forced to be only numbers, and that's that's the reason this vulnerability exists there, because we can enter not non numeric parameters. The second problem uh, is in the permission check, uh, uh, which means if if there's a post that does not exist and we send a request to that, the permission check will return true, which gives us permission to modify that post, which, which is a critical security vulnerability. So now you can um, uh, kind of guess what the combination of these two posts results in, resulting in the user being able to modify any post that he wants. Now let's go to our lab and see how it, it's done in action. Uh, WordPress version 4.7 is available in course materials and course lab. We've installed it there, it's available. Um, the exploit is also available in chapter materials. You can go to the Python file. You can see that it's, it's about 40 lines of Python code. It's not much. And on top it has the explanations. You can see that the vulnerability is from 2017 and to use it you just have to send the URL to it. To use it you um, have to know some post IDs of the WordPress. If you take a look at the post in WordPress the post ID is not visible so that seems to be a, a problem because it uses HD access to generate certain post URLs. To find the post ID we have to use a trick. Uh, this trick would be to um, append p equals number and then you just put some number and then you can uh, brute force this to find different posts on the website. This is the traditional WordPress method and it still supports and you see that it forwards you to the hello world uh, post right there. Now what we want to do is that we want to change the contents of this certain posts. Now there's a txt file there and we want to put the post content in here so instead of hello I want to put um, for example ABC and see if it uh, changes properly or not okay now let's run this exploit and uh, ask it to give us a list of all the posts give it the URL to uh, the WordPress website vulnerablesite.com slash WordPress dash 4.7 and this is the address of the WordPress installation so you see that it can even give, get us the post IDs that are available 1 and 5 it just brute force that p tag uh, and uh, gets all the posts that are publicly available on the website so the, the exploit can easily get us all these posts. Now um, the next is to give it the post ID that we want to change. 
Uh, we want to change the first one, so let's see how it's used. Okay, so there's a post ID which is one, and then we need the file that has the content. Okay, seems to have worked properly. Let's refresh it. You can see that the content was changed to ABC, just like we expected and wanted to. Uh, even though I am not an administrator, even though uh, it's correct that I'm logged in in this browser, but on the terminal, I did not have any access to this WordPress website. So to, to change the title of the post or the author of the post, the exploit can also be used. Uh, you have to change the code of this exploit. Change something here, for example, um, near content here in the JSON, you have to provide other fields that the web service receives to update the content. So for example, title to high. You can see all the fields in WordPress documentation if you want. Let's run it again. And now the title should be high. It says update completed, refresh here. And you see that it's high now. So you see how a vulnerability in a web service can result in such dangerous uh, exploits that can be on WordPress.